Tani against uh, the champion. He's only seeing you, and this is the tip of the tape. The, the challenger, 11 years younger than the champion. And uh, the weight absolutely the same, and the height also about the same. The reach also the same. And of course, the champion, highly, highly experienced with 28 fights, uh, 14 for the for the challenger, nine wins for the for the challenger, 24 for the champion, four losses, three in the draws, and of course, uh, let's uh, cross over to Planet City to bring in the two boxers. Welcome back to the Orient Theatre, ladies and gentlemen. Promoter Mzmas Ngoni of AAT Boxing Promotions is at ringside boxing here, sanctioned by Boxing South Africa. Your fight supervisor, Pak Amile uh, Jacobs, your timekeeper, Nangogu Utetanim. Doctors at ringside, Ngovu and Sitlobo. It's time for the main event on your world of champions as we continue to bring you the fights of your life. It's time now for the South African Junior Welterweight title fight. It's scheduled for 12 rounds. Let's welcome the challenger, Tambaleju Tutani. Chibelani Titani, he's the challenger to this afternoon. Yeah. Challenging for the South African Junior Welterweight title. And of course, eh, in his last fight, he stopped Asande Kakaza in the ninth round. Eh, taking revenge eh, for a sixth round defeat against the same man last year. Some of the card is going. Tembelani Chitani, obviously. This is the card that came to support uh, the champion Muzolisi, Yoyo. But right now, the man center stage is Tembelani Chitani. With the challenger. Of course, he's taking his time, Brian, coming into the ring, and why not? He's taking all the attention he can get. Well, it's obviously, uh, a, a, it's also kind of relaxing him, Peter, but he need, needs to get in and do the business. And fighting against him, let's bring into the ring now, Zolisi Yoyo! champion from Danzani will be making the second defense of, him, of this title the junior welterweight crown and of course he won the title when he beat Sikulele Situmo in December last year and he did Retained it against him, Sukisim Gidi in May, winning in the fourth round by TKO. So listen, Chopper, Yoyo. He 
is the South African Junior Waterweight Champion. And of course, we know some big names uh, that held this title before. Lachini Wele, Samuel Malinga, Kaiser Mabuza, Jan Tachman, Aaron Kadi, Lawrence Ngobeni. These are the boxers that held this title before. And Zonisi Yoyo will want to uh, defend it. And let's hear from Tom Lani Msibi introducing the two boxers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the South African Junior Welterweight title fight. It's scheduled for 12 rounds. Introducing your officials, starting with the referee Matika, three judges at ringside, Vabaza, Mkia, and Matagane. Introducing first the challenger, wearing the black and the white trunks, official weight 63.20 kilograms. His professional record, 14 fights, nine wins, three losses, two draws. Ladies and gentlemen, he comes from Duncan Village. Let's welcome Tembale to Titani. And now, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red and the green trunks, weighing in at 62.80 kilograms. 28 fights, 24 wins with only four losses, with 24 of those wins coming via the short route. From Mtansane, let's welcome the South African champion, Zolisi Yayo. Boxers. Well, this is it. Angdili Matike taking charge of the final battle of the afternoon for the South African Junior Welterweight title. Your champion, Anzulisi Yoyo, against Tembalani Chitani, the challenger. Boxers, do as I've told you in the dressing room. Stick to the boxing rules. Obey my commands at all times. Shake hands. Good luck. No, shake hands. Shake hands. Shake hands. Shake hands. Shake hands, my Don't waste time. Shake hands, man. That's what you gotta do. Yeah, shake hands, shake hands. Reverend Andila Matika. Forcing the two boxers to shake hands. They were not really interested in shaking hands. They just wanna get it on and uh, get into the fight. That's the first bell. And that's our second start for Brian of the evening, of the of the, of the day. The okay. challenger, Tembalani Chitani. In the black and white trunks. 24 years of age, he's up against the champion, Zonisi Yoyo. Very, very experienced boxer, 28 fights, 35 years of age. And Brian, if you like, can say he's youth versus experience. Yeah, I mean, of course, the champion's a big puncher. Yoyo is at, out of his 24 wins, 22 by way of the short route. So he knows how to take them out, there's no doubt about that. All right, let's see what he does against the youngster. What's your fit? Tembelan and Chitani. He's had three losses himself in nine fights. South African Junior welterweight title at stake. The champion with the red, white and green trunks. Rosaliso Yoyo. Yoyo against Tembalani Chiftani. Good the map. Opening round. And let's take the South African Junior Welterweight title held by the champion Zolesi Yoyo in the red and green trunks. Up against the youngster Tembelane Chitani. Both guys just feeling each other out here. They know they've got 12 rounds, championship rounds. Jeff for me. Uh, no clean punches landing so far, Brian. Well, the better punches so far coming from the champion, Chitani. Uh, from the challenger, at least, Chitani. Yeah. The challenger landing. 
two soft uh, jabs there on the face of the champion. And the champion coming back uh, with the jabs of his own. from Chitani and of course being South Paul Brian will jab with his right hand the challenger Chitani Stop. Uh, slow uh, opening round there guys and who do we give it to Brian I would say the challenger did better work there from the southpaw stance with the jab. If I had to choose around, I would give it to Chitani. Junior welterweight title, the champion in the red and green trunks, defending his title for the second time against uh, the challenger Tembelani Chitani. And there was a push, and the Matika will really just push and push. Yes, not a knockdown. Oh, big left took to the champion. Champion's obviously a slow starter, works his way into the fight. I guess Tag there with the left from uh, the challenger. Looks like the champion's got a cut above his left eye. Yes, yeah, surprised, yeah, definitely. He's been cut above uh, his left eye. And he's getting caught, the champion here, yeah, by left hands. And it's a bad card, Brian, because again it's above the right, uh, the left eye. So that blood is flowing into the eye and it's disturbing his vision. You can see he's trying to wipe away the blood. Nice one, uppercut. A bit of balance, uh, Chitani. A lot of balance, yeah. Uh, the challenger Brian is getting through with those chips, right chips. But as you said, Brian, he must be careful because the champion is a good knockout artist. 22 of his wins come in by way of knockout, the champion. So the challenger Chitani in the black and white trunks is going to be very, very careful. So Peter Chitani was be careful of the open right, of course, of the champion. We've seen Yo-Yo knock a few of his opponents out with open right. But he's a slow start of the champion. A little cut on the left eye. He worked he work his way into this fight. And, and Brian, it's, a, it's bad news for him because he's still very early in the fight. Only the second round and it's already cut. It's only a cut upon the right, the left eye. Now the champion not happy with that cut. Wipes the blood out of his left eye. just spoke oh, about no, the no, no. champion's power I said we can bomb with Alvin right and that's exactly how he's taken 22 of his 24 opponents out he bombs him with Alvin right yo -yo. let's see what happens now stop stop low blow keep it now yo yo lands with one of those big Alvin rights says uh, Revri Angelo Matika stop oh that's a 10-8 yeah. round to the champion yes Brian oh. and this this is unfortunate now because uh, the challenge the Tembelani Chitani 
was really on his way to winning that round and he got checked big right hand there from the champion and down he went and let's see how that happened this is a couple of punches early so and then well, down he went was a bit of a a slip. Slip. and now let's see the knockdown coming down coming up now well he gets hit with a, a left hand watches over and right it's a little six inch sneaky little punch sets it set, sets him up for the jab here it comes boom, boom. over the top right in the jaw brian and i've seen him do that before so obviously Brian, as you said uh, the champion zolisi yoyo can really yeah he's really got, pass a punch yeah. he's got power you know you know he, he's getting on father times catching up to him at 35 years old but you can't take that punching power away and the challenger now let's see what the challenger does now is he still going to stand in front of the champion oh, he's no. felt the power of the champion now now is he going to move is he going to come forward so what is he going to do well, the champ's gaining with momentum now because he knows he got a knockdown in round two oh big right hand, hand there again from the champion right hand again over the top uh, the champion really banging that body on the challenger the Nisi Yoyo the champion Yo Yo is bombing the body. Looking a little bit wild over the top there. Hey. 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 Yeah, and Timberani Brian, I don't think he was hit. Uh, he got knocked down in the in the last round. A bit, a bit of a flash knockdown, but a, but, a, but, a, but a good knockdown. Yeah, it was a good knockdown, yeah. He didn't hit him, uh, but let's see oh. what he does now. But definitely he He's now tasted the power of the champion. So one thing good about him, the challenger, is that now he keeps his hands high and tries to protect himself at all times. Yeah, as, you said, sign. as you said, Peter, it wasn't badly hurt to the knockdown. Yeah. But all the same, that little overhand right. He's gonna watch that sneaky right hand from the champion. Well, it's in his ground right now, the challenger. A champion, scientifically not a great uh, boxer either. He relies on his power. Oh, yeah, of course. You're right, Brian. He's got a very leaky defense, the champion. Yeah, absolutely leaky defense. But he relies on his power, and it's, it's carried him through 24 wins. Oh, oh there's a good atmosphere here at the Orient Theatre. The champion, the champion bombs that right hand again. This is a boxing crowd, Pete. They love the fight game, yeah. Big put it. Right hand there from the champion. Oh, the champion now. Setting his man up. And you can see Brian, what he's doing now. He's really missing his punches. Going to the body. And trying to open up uh, the face of the challenger. That's the champion. Uh, he's got that de de deceiving right hand. Uh, so far in round three, the champion, Olisi Yoyo, is doing the business. Well, no no down in that uh, round. Uh, but I'm sure that the round going to the champion is Olisi Yoyo. That the champion must have won the round. Look at him really punching and driving the challenger backwards. <laughs> yeah, big punches coming from the champion. Was no, no, down in the that round. <laughs> that round, but the, first, the second round. We show the challenger coming down from the big right hand from the champion, Zolisi Yoyo. Boxan. 
Well done, four of the South, the South African junior welterweight title fight, scheduled for 12. And the champion, Melissa Yoya, is finding his range. He's found his range, Brian, and he's confident in his punching power because uh, he did drop the challenger, Tembelani Chitani, in the second round. So he must be having confidence in his punching power. Yeah, Chitani, funny enough, if you look at his body, he looks like he could fight as a lightweight. Of uh, course. Yes, but Brian, uh, but that's what I thought. Body. It doesn't look like a, like a cat uh, junior welterweight. You know? Yeah, you're right, Brian, 100%. Kind of a, a guy, if you look at him, uh, but, but flabby, I would put him in a lightweight division if I was his manager and trainer. But uh, the champion, yeah, he's doing the job. Yeah, he's still there, Brian, he's still punching. And the champion. In the red and the green trunks. Great. The challenger doesn't cool. look like he wants cool. it enough here, Peter, at this stage. You know, he's got to put the pressure on. Got to take the fight away from the champ. You know, like he did there, but, but keep the pressure up. Keep, going, keep the champion going backwards. Yes. And of course, the, uh, that cut above the left eye of uh, the champion was really, really there. And we thought maybe it was going to be a problem for him. But he's still there, and then in the corner really has done a good job. Because uh, you cannot get, get cut in the second round, Brian, and then survive. Yeah, they, he got cut in the, in the round, but he managed to drop this challenger and to win the round 10-8. Yeah, the corner stopped the bleeding, so they've done a very good job. I mean, Yahweh and round four, round two, with bleeding profusely above the left eye. And, uh, and he's back with no blood. And he's looking like a champion. You know, one thing cool about the challenger, Brian, that now he keeps his hands very high. That is why it's not very easy for the champion to catch him with that right hand, because his left, fighting out of the south post stance, he's keeping his left hand very high up to protect his face. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. He just really... He's not putting on enough pressure for me at this stage. He's uh, Chitani. To, to take the rounds away from the champion. You, know, you, you want to be the South African champion, you've got to go and take it from the champion. Well, any fight, really. Uh, well, he's trying, Brian. He's really there. But as you said, I think... I'm not sure really if he can really train very, very hard. He might even make the... Lightweight uh, position. Don't push. As the referee Andrea Matika tells him uh, not to push. Watch your elbow. Stop. Oh, another good good uh, round there by the champion. Ah, uh, for the champion, definitely. Olisi Yo Yo. For you there, a little bit restless and wanting more action from the oh, look at these the, two boxers. Look, look, look at that crowd, Peter. I mean, it's, they're loving it. Great right. crowd, they enthusiastic. I mean, 25 to 6 on a Sunday afternoon, they say enthusiastic is brilliant. It's been a great afternoon of boxing. And we've all been comforted by brilliant fights at the Orient Theatre. Uh, if you just joined us, my name is uh, Peter Leo Peng, and I'm with uh, Brian Mitchell. I'm watching uh, the South African Junior Waterway title. The Thanks. champion. Thanks, Peter. And if you just joined us, you've missed about six great fights. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Where have you been? But we got yes, a South African Junior Waterway title fight up right now. Challenger Brian, I thought he will be running around and very worried about uh, the champion's power, but he's not doing that. He's really standing in front of the champion and uh, prepared to mix it as he lands uh, with his uh, right there. Oh, nice right hand for the, the champion, champion yo yo. Big right hand. Oh, 
Kenneth has a nice left there from the challenger. Well, Kenneth's got the challenge on now. He needs to up his game. He's getting out hustled on the inside by the champion. Oh, that's better. Oh, he gets tagged, the challenger. Chitani gets hit with a left hook and he wobbles. I wobbled, but he's going to look at that right uppercut there by the challenger. Chandelani yeah. Chitani. This is a definitely a very, very good fight. And the, and the challenger there proving Brian why he deserved to be challenging the champion. He's rated number five uh, on the South African uh, Junior Waterweight list. Yeah, it's not that he deserves a shot at the title. I just haven't felt until now that he's taking the fight to the champion. Well, then the champion tags him again with the right hand. Uh, the champion really throwing bombs, really, trying to take out his, oppo his opponent. Yeah, yeah, the champion doesn't do anything exceptional, but when he gets inside and he throws those little punches, he lands. And now uh, that's what it's all about. It's about landing. They are telling the two boxers to keep it clean. Don't hit on the break and don't hit behind the head. Round 5, the scheduled 12 round fight it's for the South African Junior Welterweight title. The man with the red, green and white shorts that's doing most of damage now is your champion, Sir Lisa Yo-Yo. And yeah. he's just scored another round on our, yeah, on challenger our unofficial looks, scorecard. Yeah, Brian, the challenger looks very, very tired now. He's going to need a, a second win. I'm only going into the sixth round. Tapping that on right hand there, such hand there by the challenger, but the champion coming back with his own sneaky right, le left hand there by the challenger, Timberlani Chitani. Ah, but now the champion comes back now. Big right hand that wobbled the, the, the challenger. Six. And as I was saying, Brian, the challenger Timberlani Chitani seems like uh, he's really, really been in a fight. He looks a little bit tired, Brian. He's gonna need a second wind. Otherwise, we still have a long way to go. Oh, yo yo is bombing now to the body and the head. Uh, now he's hitting hard now, Brian. He's trying to take him out now. Uh, he's trying to take his man out now. Oh, he's landing good combinations. He's yo yo. Uh, the champion hitting very very hard oh, now he's hurt his man now the champion i, I think he's sensing that uh, chitani doesn't want to be in this ring anymore well chitani looks wow well, you're right Peter, it almost looks like chitani doesn't want to be there yeah as the champion just nails him with lefts and rights and chitani is forced to hold and the referee wants him and says please don't hold well he starts the power of the champion of course Oh, good right there. Uh, so I don't think this one is going to go on forever, Brian. It is straight. The all champion, Mizonisi Yo Yo, is going to retain his title. That's all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Winning round in and round out. Challenge is just hanging on, really, not even trying to compete. Yeah, the challenger looks very, very tired now, Brian. Doesn't look like now he wants to fight anymore. Push. Oh. And the champion really targeting that body, Brian. Well, that of the challenger. What a brilliant body. Oh, great yes. body shot. I told you, Brian. And that's how much more could he take it to the body? Yeah, that I don't think this one is going to go the distance. Well, we said he's a good puncher as Tebron. Uh, as Olisa oh, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's all over. over. It's over in the sixth round. The champion has retained his South African junior welterweight title in round six.
Yeah, he's defended this title successfully, Brian. And it's a very, very good win there for the champion. Mzolisi Iyoyo. Like we said, he won the title last year against Kuleles Duma in December. Defended it against the Mzokisim Giri in May, winning the fourth round. Now, he's defended it for the second time in the sixth round against uh, Chet Tembelani Chitani. Well, look at the crowd, they're loving him. They loved all the action here. Aye, 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 Seven aye, aye, aye. fights here today. And well, well let's see how the fight ended. Was maybe one boarding fight. Here we watch the replay. It's going to, it's going to be a, going to be a body punch. Must look at that body punch. Here comes right. a left uppercut to the body. Yeah, that one. Oh, left hook to the that a big right, hand. right hand to the body. But there's little, another one coming. A little bit uh, south of the other side. The whoop! Yeah. Alan Mark Tyson. And down he goes. Yes. Probably a slight rib cage injury there. A little yeah. left he, uppercut. Yeah, he was just like overwhelmed by he just couldn't take it. The challenger, Tembelani Chitani. He's really felt the uh, the power of the champion uh, for the official time of the stoppage. Well, let's hear from our ring announcer, Tumlani Sibi. Well, ladies and gentlemen, referee Matiga stops the fight. Let's give you the official time now. Two minutes and five seconds of round number six for the winner of Bar in Knockout. And still, the South African Junior Welterweight Champion, Zolisi Yayo! Zolisi. Fanagiti, congratulations. Good fight. Started slowly though. Ewo kala, mbulu tiko, upan niki chance mani kusero kusmi in the pant. Eh, but it's slow. Can we just move around? Can be fast. Did he give you any trouble at, at, at any stage from his south pole stance? Did that give you a challenge? No, he's not poor. Gate, gate. I'm beating Nam Nam. I'm beating Kelles in the fight. But it's not poor I'm beating because there was my legula. I say, I'm going to say left. So, South Pope, I'm going to say left. I'm born. I'm going to start slow. So, in fitness, Pope, because I'm going to fit. Is it a cut? Is it a cut? No, the cut is not a cut. I'm going to put the cut. I'm going to put the cut. I'm going to put the cut. Congratulations once again. Unga Eh, I'm I'm fight. Congratulations. Man, we are like a upramzing. We are tournament. We are a cool zigam gun. We are a tournament to promote the super sport. Thank you very much, Mr. Lindsay. You are the South African champion. In a nutshell, he said, "I'm a slow starter. It takes me time to get into a rhythm, to get into the fight." I asked him about the South Pole stance. Did it give you trouble at any stage? He says, "No, I'm, I'm used to South Pole. The only thing was that I was really fit and up for this fight." Thanks his supporters, thanks all the fans that came out, thanks his trainers, he thanks promoter Mzimasam Gunibari, he says he was really up for it and he says the card did not really give him trouble because even before he came into the fight, he went to the doctor, he had that checked by the doctors and it was okay, so he says he was never bothered at all. But here is the man who is doing the business here in the Eastern Cape, he's putting up stellar shows, he's putting up quality boxing yet again, Mzim. I'm always stunned when I come to this part of the world. The bombs on the seats, people pay at the door. Again, a fantastic show put together by you guys. Thank you, Mr. But uh, let me say it straight. Was it not the support of Super Sport that are making this thing possible? I won't be having such shows. Our people, they know that for as long as we bring Super Sport here, they will come and support. And I want to thank them because they don't disappoint. Super Sport want the best shows. 
and I think our people, they are doing just that. He already has the T-shirt. What more can I give him? Thank you very much, Mr. Masim Gurim. It's been a fantastic afternoon of boxing. You have seen all the fights that we have shown you here. I want to take this opportunity and thank everyone involved in making this a great possibility. Our commentary team at Ringside Hall of Fame, Brian Mitchell. Against uh, Lachi Kwasa. And coming up next, Olesani Dongeni will face uh, Ayanda Yati in, for the Eastern Cape Junior Lightweight title. And they really take us off because Ayanda Yati comes to fight. Buffalo City at its best. And we see that I see. Beautiful. And the crowd really in anticipation of the next fight for the Eastern Cape Junior Lightweight title between Kolesan and Dongeni against the Ayanda Yapi. The crowd are really excited because Ayanda Yapi comes to fight, Brian. And of course, we've got to cross over to uh, Ring Ananta to announce the next fight from London City. Welcome back to the Orient Theatre, ladies and gentlemen. It's time now for the Eastern Cape Junior Lightweight title fight. This fight is scheduled for 10 rounds. Let's bring in the challenger, Olisani Dungay. a character Brian and let's hope that he's not gonna come into the ring wearing those uh, sunshades well his name is Lozani on Dungeni and of course he's fighting Oyana Yapi for the Eastern Cape Junior Lightweight title scheduled for 10 rounds makes his way to the ring got his sunglasses on he's gonna have to get them off before the fight starts Solisani on Dungeni. Uh, he goes by the nickname of the bomb. And he's gonna have his hands full uh, against Ayanda Yapi. And now for the champion as he makes his way into the ring, Ayanda Yapi. Ayanda Yapi. Oh, he's taking his time to get to the ring. He needs to make his way down the staircase. Time to fight. Well, I said Zolisani and Dungeni was a crowd favourite. Yandi Yap is a crowd favourite as well, so this, we, can, we know this is definitely going to be an interesting fight for the crowd. Uh, that's because Brian, he always comes to please. He really puts his boxing skills on the line every time he comes into the ring. This Eastern Cape Junior Lightweight title fight is scheduled for 10 rounds sanctioned by boxing south africa introducing your officials a referee mka the three judges at ringside matakan vabaza and mbini now introducing your boxers fighting out of the blue corner wearing black and red trunks official weight 58.95 kilograms he's a challenger here this afternoon six fights six wins only sunny don't go! And now, 
fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red, green and white trunks. Official weight 57 kilograms, 25, 16 wins, 3 losses, a single draw. The Eastern Cape Junior Lightweight Champion, Ayanda Yapi. Gentlemen, remember what we have spoken about, discussed and agreed upon in your respective dressing rooms. Remember also that we are doing this together. Let's shake hands. Thanks very much. Well, this is the Eastern Cape. Junior like to a title up for grabs. Well, not really up for grabs. The younger Yappi is defending that title, so it's still up for grabs. And Zolesani on Dongeni. And Dongeni is undefeated, Brian, in six fights. And again, we're seeing uh, both orthodox boxers. Uh, let's see what Dongeni does against uh, Ayanda Yapi because Ayanda Yapi he's got a leaky defense, Brian, but he throws a lot of punches. He will hit him, but expects to be hit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah Yapi is one of those tough guys. You know, he's going to fight. Ah, uh, well, the signing again is going to be very, very clever. He's going to be careful and keep his cuts up all the time. Ah, uh, he lands with a big right hand. Is on again. Oh, good left hook. Nice. Uh, Lenny. But two punches in the face of uh, Ayanda Yapi. This is only signing Dongeni in the black trunks. And Ayanda Yapi in the good right hand from Yapi. Oh, over, over the top from Ondongeni. Oh, another good right hand from Ondongeni. And Dongeni is hitting. Yapi throws a good right hand right. Dongeni is having some success in the oh. first round. Well, we spoke about this fight. Lighting the crowd. This is it. Wow, this is fun. On Dongeni is bombing with the right hand. <laughs> the crowd are loving it. They are loving it, bro. I told you about Ayanda Yapi. <laughs> Yapi. Throws he, back. He's got wow. a very, very leaky defense, Ayanda Yapi. But he is a crowd pleaser because he will always be there in front of his opponent. But he's a very, very easy boxer to hit. And if Polani uh, Nongen is very clever, he will know exactly what to do. Avoid uh, Yandayapi's uh, big punches, landing his own, and hopefully we need the fight. Yeah, and again, he's definitely the guy with more skill. <laughs> Yapi is the guy that just likes to come and have a war. He loves a war, Brian. He loves a boxer who stands in front of him and, and exchange punches. But he's going to need to do more than have a war today, Peter. He's going to need to settle down a bit as Yapi if he doesn't want to lose that Eastern Cape Junior Light to a title to Zolasani on Dongeni. Oh! <laughs> big punches from on Dongeni. The gun goes out from, Alani, from, from Yapi, Ayanda Yapi. Uh, Yanda Yapi has lost his come guard. You know, not out of his mouth uh, by Polisarin Dongeni. Wow. In the end of the first that's, round. That's a good start to this Eastern Cape Junior Lightweight title fight. Scheduled for 10 rounds. Well, the crowd went to sleep in the last fight. They're definitely back now. Uh, they're back up, awake up here, Brian. Uh, in, a, in a round that really I would uh, stick my head out and uh, give it to Polisarin Dongeni. Yeah, definitely. And this is why, Brian, you can see that big right hand there coming from Ndongeni. Yeah. The second one. Yeah, we shade that down to Ndongeni as well. He landed the, the, the better open rights that looked the more polished. Got a bit of a weaky defense himself as Ndongeni. Oh, definitely. Only has a, a, a six fights, Brian. It's an up against a veteran, Ayanda Yapi, of 25, 16 wins, 3 losses and 1 draw. 
And uh, for Sunday Mugeni, winning all the six fights, and the crowd really enjoying this fight. Bossa! Round number two. Eastern Cape Junior like a title on the line. The champion Ayanda Yapi in the green, red, and white trunks. And hold, and hold, and hold. Yeah, this is the punches coming from Ayanda Yapi now. Oh. Big right hand there from Nugeni. Oh, but you can see Ayanda Yapi has he realizes that he lost the first round. So he's coming out in the second round with the bad intentions. And let's see how uh, Ndongeni will handle him. Last right hand from Yapi. Boom, he gets bombed with overhand right. Uh, good work from Yapi there. Well, there's no oh, doubt, Brian, as you said, Kalisani Ndongen is really is, is a scientific on the two boxes. Yeah, he's definitely more scientific, but he's basically both these guys have got such a leaky defense. I don't know the slip. Reverend Yamam Jase said to Ndongen, don't push your opponent. Yeah, that was, well, he, he fell off his own feet, so. It wasn't a knockdown. Oh, and again he loads up to the body. He slaps with open right uh, Yapi pretty. Yeah, and, 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 and it's also a ponderous yeah. boxer, Brian. You can see, you can see his punches really coming from, from far. And if Ndongen is a clever boxer, really, he can avoid all these punches because uh, Yapi really... Uh, oh, big left to there from Ndongen. Wow, yeah. oh, but Yapi took it well. Yeah, as I was saying, Brian, uh, you know, Yapi... Oh, oh you if, know, if Yapi keeps his hands down like this... Okay, go big, come on. Oh, uh, I was just going to say, Yapi's going to get knocked out if he keeps his hands down. And then Yapi landed a big right hand. Uh, wow, this, this is what the, the crowd came to see, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, if they were really uh, allowed to do some sleep in the last fight, this one is really working them up. The crowd, oh. big left hand there from Yapi. You see, he's taller, Brian, so he can actually yeah, have an advantage in the, in the reach. Yeah, when he turns it over Yapi, which he did there, uh, then his right hand works well, but normally his right hand is a bit of a slapping motion. Uh, Ayanda Yapi is stepping up the pace there, in, definitely in the second round. And I'm not sure, Brian, who will give that round? Oh. No, that's close. I'll, I'll, I'll give it to Yapi. Yes, Yapi, I think, really did enough really, to shade the round. And this is why you can see he's coming forward. Boom. Comes yeah, up with the left hand there. It was a shade. The first minute belonged to. On Dungini, the challenger, but I think the, the champion uh, Yapi came back in the last, well, the last minute and a half. So I've got them one round each right now. Action in uh, round number two. Now let's see what happens in uh, round number three. Again, if you just joined us, this is for the Eastern Cape Junior Lightweight title. And the champion, Ayanda Yapi, in the green, red and white trunks. Against uh, Ole Sani Ndongeni, in the black trunks. The man who's had six fights and six wins. <laughs> oh, the, <coughs> both guys swinging wildly. Who wants it most? Oh, big right hand from Yapi. He accepts it well on the guinea. Oh, big punch to the left. Oh, another big, oh, another big left. Come on, the 
Dongeni. And Dongeni loading up there. The Yapi is taking well. Yapi loads up to the left to give his own. Forward. Uh, but you don't want to take the shot. Yapi's taking. 